Good morning. Pray God has richly blessed you today. And I pray that you'll have another great day in the Lord. And we can do that with the help of the Holy Spirit by praying and seeking his face and studying and reading the word of God and putting it into our being. And uh, I want to look today in Galatians chapter one, verse six. Paul wrote a letter to the Galatian church to encourage them to hold on, to encourage them to stay in Christ because the, they were falling away. And Paul knew what was going on. And he wrote a letter and he said in chapter one, verse six, he said, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Another gospel. False teachers had come to Galatians, to the Galatians, attempting to persuade them to reject Paul's teaching and accept another gospel. We see this happening today. And Back then, it said their gospel taught that salvation was not only believing in Christ, but also uh, by circumcision, works of the law, and keeping the Jewish holiday. All this, along with uh, believing in Christ, would work. The Bible clearly confirms, though, and affirms that there is only one true gospel. And that is still the way today. There is only one true gospel, and that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. It has come to us through the revelation of Jesus. That's how it came. And the gospel is defined and revealed in the word of God. Everything we need to know about the gospel, the, the, the gospel today of Jesus is in this Bible. And we need that's why we need to read it. Any teachings, any doctrine, any ideas originating from purses, persons, I'm sorry, doctrines or uh, churches or traditions not expressed in God's word does not need to be obeyed or listened to or followed. Folks, anything that is not found in the word of God is lies from the devil. We need to understand that. That's why it is so important that we know what the word of God says. The truth today that is found and that must be followed and must be obeyed is the deity of Christ and his virgin birth, the full inspiration and authority of God's word in all that it teaches, that it is the absolute truth, the historical fall of Adam, the, loss, the lostness of mankind without Christ, and that there is only one way to be saved, the Bible says, and the only name to be saved under the heavens is Jesus Christ. We must accept that. And it's, it's where salvation comes from him dying upon a cross and shedding his blood for us. Then we must believe in the bodily resurrection of Christ from the tomb on the third day, just like he said he would. And that there, there was miracles working in those days that are still going on today. That he has gone back home to heaven, sitting at the right hand of his father, waiting on the day, just like you and, our, you and I are waiting today waiting for the day when the father says, son, go get my children. The world today says that that's not going to happen. That is just a imagination of man. And I'll tell you another thing that I, I failed to mention in that list there. The Bible's teachings on hell. It is true. A lot of people today refuse to believe that there's a, such a place. And if, it's, if it is real, it's only for those who do really bad things. But my friend, we are born in sin. When Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, every person that's ever been born since then was born in sin. And you know what? Sin does not go into the kingdom of God. Sin does not go into heaven. And the only way they can be forgiven is by you bowing and surrendering your life to God. But if there's anybody comes along teaching and preaching anything else that, that, that is not found in the word of God, don't need to listen to him. Get away from them. Don't even sit there and discuss or argue with the Bible. Folks, I don't argue about the Bible with nobody. I believe it from cover to cover, the way it is written. I'm not going to listen to you try to persuade me in any other way. Now, if you want to talk about it, you want to get to understand it better, that's one thing. But I will not 
argue the Bible with anybody. And I pray that you won't either. But folks, listen, just like in Paul's days, where there were false teachers trying to lead the Galatians away from what Paul had been teaching them, which was the truth, it is going on today. And we need to be careful what we hear and what we let our children hear. I tell you what, I check on my, when my children were little, I would check on them when they come home from Sunday school. What did you learn today? What did you do today? And today, I still do it sometimes with my grandson. What have you learned today in Sunday school? What did you hear today from the preacher preaching? I want to make sure he's getting it. Because if we don't teach him, if we don't get him in the right way, the world will. So folks, let's listen today and make sure what we're hearing is truly the word of God. Thank you, Lord, today for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that helps us grasp what we need to know from your word and then helps us and warns us against anything other than your word being preached. Your word is the truth and the way. We thank you for that word today in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you is my prayer.